Hi YouTube, I'm just going to start by apologising for why I haven't made a video and what things like ages, but um, I've just back finished my first year at university and had a lot of work to do and obviously was at university so I couldn't edit the actual footage if, if I'd have taken any, but yeah, this is just going to be a video on my experiences at Collectomania Milton Keynes a few weeks ago on the, I think we on the 28th of May, yeah, and it was at um, Stadium MK where I met a few guests and I'll show you the autographs and generally talk about what they said, yeah, hope you enjoy. Probably the biggest guest of the day there was Robert Patrick and well I'm just saying he's the biggest guest because of his massive queue. I think we got tickets like 700 and something from the virtual queuing system which is a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so he's obviously the T1000 in Terminator 2 and I also um, wanted to meet him particularly because of the, um, his role in The Sopranos because I haven't met anyone that's been in The Sopranos yet and it's one of my favourite TV programmes. Yeah. There's two Danny, all the best, Robert Patrick. And I think that is a pretty cool autograph, actually. Yeah, he was a nice, nice enough to meet, and he, he did seem generally interested to hear questions about The Sopranos compared to everyone else asking about The Terminator. But, um, yeah, he just said he loved working on The Sopranos and the cast were all friendly, and it was just like one big family, and everyone was just having a laugh the whole time, which I can only imagine being the case with such like a close-knit um, TV programme cast like that was. Uh, my friend, who also met him, uh, asked about uh, the special effects in Terminator 2, which were obviously very impressive, particularly for the time, and um, how he actually did. Wa he walked through the scenes as himself, and then obviously added the computer effects later. But um, he had to, as in they imitated how he'd walk, obviously with his head split in half, only added later, uh, such as after he's hit with a shotgun or whatever. But no, he said he did actually run through it all and then the computer gener um, they edited the footage later by adding the effects in. Again, another nice guest to meet. The next guy I met was Nick Moran, who's in Harry Potter, but I've only met him because of Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, where he played Eddie, which is his character. But I didn't get him to sign this picture, I actually got him to sign my Lockstock poster, which I shall get un unroll in a second and show you. This is my Lockstock large poster that I was talking about that I got him to sign. Um, there it is. And it says... To Danny all the best, Nick Moran, and then asked him to put his favourite quote from the whole film, and his favourite quote is, guns you tit, which I thought was quite funny, I mean that's a brilliant film, but yeah, um, I was talking to him about it, he said, oh, he was speaking very similar to Robert Patrick, as in like he really enjoyed it because everyone was just having a laugh the whole time on the set, and I can imagine with the cast that they did have, like with Vinnie Jones in it and Jason Fleming and... I think I can only imagine that it would have been fun to work on and he, he said it helped the fact that it was a really low budget film and no one expected it to do well or anything and they were all just in it to basically just have a laugh and just make a film which is what I think filmmaking should be like. But uh, yeah, he was saying that a lot of the um, scenes are improvised because basically Guy Richard had the general script and then he left the actors to add their own take on their own character and like uh, particularly the scene he mentions with um, the traffic warden where it's uh, Rob Brydon playing the traffic warden when he goes and attacks him and then comes after us and says I fucking hate traffic wardens yeah he said that was Nick Brennan's all idea his idea and everyone seemed to love it so yeah another nice guy
Now another guest that I did meet again is uh, Robert England who was actually the first guest I ever met and I did tell him that, that it's his fault that I've been to all these things and spent all this money but no, he, he appreciated the fact that I brought it that I've been to see him as the first guest but yeah, uh, this time instead of a photo I, managed, I got him to sign my Nightmare on Elm Street Live poster which he's actually drawn a sketch on and signed it Freddy K by Robert England 2011 which I think is pretty cool and now hopefully Heather Langenkamp and the rest of the cast that I've already met like John Saxon and they will hopefully come to another convention soon so I can get them all to sign my poster which should be quite cool but yeah I mean Robert England is always lovely to meet Finally, the fourth guest that I met was Trevor Francis, who used to play for Birmingham City, who obviously I support, and he used to even managed us about ten years ago, so I thought it was quite cool to meet him. And he's even put a little blues, almost saying, famous saying for the blues team, keep right on in the top, which I think is really nice. He was actually the first footballer ever to go on a transfer for a million pounds, so it must have been quite good, I imagine. <laughs> right, they were all the guests that I met at the Kleptomania Milton Keynes, and yeah, overall it was a, another good day, and especially because it's free entry, so it ends up being quite cheap. Uh, the next one I'm going to is the London Film and Comic Con in July, which is in a couple of weeks, and that lineup is absolutely amazing. It's got six of the original Hellraiser cast and a few others like a few from the new um, Hills of Eyes and yeah it just looks absolutely brilliant so that's going to cost me a fortune but I've actually just bought a big Hellraiser poster to get the cast to sign so that'd be quite cool and look forward to show you all when I make a video on that but yeah hope you uh, I'll also try and get my a film that we would film last summer with my friends uh, A Case of Misfortune which I've put the trailer up already but I'll try and get the full film edited soon but as I say I've had a lot of trouble when I've been back home and a lot of things to sort out and obviously I couldn't edit it while I was at uni so I do apologise but yeah hope you keep watching and if you are new viewer subscribe and also if I see if you go to one of these conventions and you see me just say hello I do appreciate it but yeah you know see you all soon